understand how it's already 9.30. Oh, lovely. Good morning. I think I'm gonna go into the gym and work out and climb. Have a good start to the day. I'm comfy. I'm so warm. Only when I'm underneath here. So I'll just get up. Today, we are doing a Q&A because I've noticed, you know what, we're going to talk about that later. Right now, I just wanted to say good morning. Uh, yep. <laughs> fault i literally just cleaned it two days ago <sighs> just gets that way you know when you live in a car it do be like that plan go get coffee clean car talk about your questions i mean maybe not you specifically but you as in some of you these aren't very good Bert's cold i want coffee so bad to a place called Badass Coffee. I'm excited for just coffee in general, but the name. Uh, this man knows that I'm not wearing my seatbelts. Judging me. You know what, you wanna be in the vlog, huh? I don't like this angle. I feel like you can see a double chin in places. My car is so messy. I am embarrassed. I don't know how I'm gonna react when I'm at Starbucks. I'm not even going to Starbucks. Uh. And the barista sees this like. Make a U-turn, then turn right into the parking lot. Make a U-turn. This is Chinatown. Legitimately Chinatown, and I don't think that this is badass coffee. I could be wrong. Turn right into the parking lot. Oh, whoa, that's it. Let's just go to the dumpster first. We can make my car look cute. And then the barista won't judge me. Okay, fatso in graffiti. Why do people look at you? Why when you're driving past somebody, do they feel the need to stare directly into your soul? Like try to find the inner depths of your being from their car. Like, that's rude. We're gonna clean my car. You wanna watch? And then we can talk about your questions. I'm sorry this is taking so long. Okay, 
I am gonna tell you a secret right now. You have to promise me that you won't tell anybody. This is the mo First, I need to take a picture right here. Now, I just need to show you how repulsive I am as a human. Okay, I let this coffee sit in this mason jar for, I'd say, two months. We have a little science experiment going on. I'm sure something like this is happening in your life, so please don't judge me. I know, it's disgusting. <laughs> I just dumped this coffee out and oh, like what does this mean? What does this mean? How does this define me as a person? That's my coffee. I'm so sorry about my behavior. My car is clean now. Moving on. Where's my card? Let's go. I know, this looks so pretty. I have to show you. I asked on Instagram, like, you know how you do the little questions on Instagram, and this is where I'm getting my questions from. Question number one. Question number one is not a question. I lived in my car for two years. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. I'm enjoying it to the fullest, and that is not a lie. Most people actually don't believe me when I say that, but they're like, are you still looking for a place? I'm like, when did, was I looking for a place? You know, I can see where the question comes from. A lot of people ask it, so I mean, you're not alone, but I'm fine. I love my car. It's so comfy, it's so perfect. It's just like, I love it. Next question. Oh, why are you so cute? That is unrelated, but I think it's because I'm vegan. Like, I mean, if you want me to answer the question. How do you cook slash eat living in your car? Kind of saw me this morning. It's usually how it goes. I'll have like a protein bar for breakfast and some coffee and then for lunch I'll have this giant thing of greens. <laughs> okay, let me just show you actually. For breakfast, I'll have something that I don't need to make because I'm always on a roll in the morning and I'm always busy doing something productive usually. That might be a different story in the summertime when I have the desire to stand outside. Because I have a, this Coleman stove. It's about this big. It's in the back right now. It's just such a hassle to like pull it out and get it set up. So I feel like in the summer when I can open the back door of my car and stand outside while cooking, it'll be a lot more convenient. That's what I usually do. I just eat bananas, granola bars, protein bars, and stuff for breakfast and coffee, obviously. Fruit, nuts. Well, sometimes I also have like a breakfast burrito at my work because they sell those there. And then for lunch, they sell these at Whole Foods. I am always locked and loaded with these. They're so easy. I'll literally like bring them to work with me. I'm in the microwave for like 90 seconds. Warm bag of rice to eat for lunch. Then I put them on my salad. I put sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. I also put hummus. Oh my gosh, the sauces. Yeah, I mean, I really love Cholula, so I'll do that, but I can't find my Cholula, so I've been just using, I put the Cholula on top of both of these. I always use taco sauce and then the peanut coconut sauce at Whole Foods because this is literally $2.99 for this bottle and it lasts and it's so good and it's healthy. Also, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Okay, this is, this is a great snack. This just trumps every other chip that I've ever tried in my life, but I pinky swear I'm gonna try better with my vegetables. I also have olives that I put on top of my salad. So what is your favorite part? What's my favorite part? I love this question. Yes, there are many pros and cons to living in your car. I feel like the reason why I love it so much is maybe a little bit different. Like, yes, I'm saving money, which is huge. Yes, I can travel easily, which is huge. And living a minimalist lifestyle is amazing. But honestly, like, I don't really feel like a minimalist at the moment. Like, I do want to get 
better at that and I want to get rid of more things, cut back on a lot of spending habits. Like in my brain, I think about that happening once it becomes warmer and I can sit outside and bring things out of my car and put them in piles. You know what I mean? So I think that's going to be a video for later on. My favorite part of living in my car is how empowered I feel. We're going to get a little bit deep right now. I'm sorry, you can click away if you feel like it. Growing up, I had a lot of criticism from my stepdad and my real dad and just like I always felt like I was told that I wasn't doing the right thing that was not very helpful for me as a kid. My nature is very critical as well. I am a Virgo. If you missed that in all of my previous videos, I'm just a very critical person in general. So like when other people are telling me negative feedback, I get very overwhelmed. So growing up, I kind of just felt like put down and I felt inferior and I felt like people didn't believe in me. I felt incapable of taking care of myself and just like worried. The fact that I did this myself, that I put this all together and am now sustaining myself feels really good. If something bad were to happen to me, I could handle it. Living in my car helps me prove that to myself. That mixed with, I also just need a lot of alone time. So it's nice to come in here and be surrounded by myself, a little me bubble. It's comfy. That's the answer to that. Where are safe places to park overnight? The gym, your nearest 24 hour gym probably the smartest option other than that hotels um don't stay at a hotel for more than a couple nights though because they might catch on i think they check the parking lot like the license plates if you rotate which hotels that you stay at i don't think that they would notice i've never personally done it like that i have stayed at hotels before but only when i'm traveling and i've never been harassed Hey, friends driveways. I do that occasionally as well. Mostly at my sister's place. Your friends aren't gonna call the cops on you, you know what I mean? Walmart? I don't like Walmart. Just how loud it can be sometimes. They do allow parking overnight, so that's nice of them to do that for us. Mountain trailheads. This is tricky because sometimes there's like park rangers who come in are like, what are you doing here so late, Missy? It's happened to me a couple times. I mean, not really at trailheads, but at public parks. I wouldn't suggest going to a public park they do have security and surveillance mountain trailheads if they're secluded enough and then campsites you do have to pay for campsites but they're always there if you need them let's see is there anything you need or want you know what the biggest thing that i could probably ask for in the winter living in my car hand warmers anything that is warm and can provide heat for me i'm not talking about a heater i'm not talking about blankets i'm talking about like little pieces of generated warmth they are so helpful i don't have to do anything to them and they just like warm up whenever they keep me warm throughout the night best thing that i could ever ask for i'm just obsessed any advice for someone about to live in their cube trust your intuition you're gonna feel like staying in a spot for no reason and sometimes you just feel it in your heart that it's the right spot to stay overnight sometimes you feel in your heart that it's not the right spot to stay overnight trust that stay wherever your heart tells you to stay sometimes it's hard to tell but like kind of really vague but that's one piece of advice prepare to learn heavy organizational skills so, living in your car there is a spot for everything and you know how when you live in a house like you can leave things out and it doesn't look too bad you leave some books on your bed it doesn't look like a mess you leave some food on the counter it doesn't look like a mess in your car because everything is so condensed if something is out of its spot it just looks messy coconut water on the dashboard salad on the dashboard bags on your bed jackets everywhere you know what i mean and i just cleaned my car so you can imagine what it's like. It was literally only two days. I managed to accumulate so much trash. Everything was out of place. I have to take my clothes out of my little drawers. Sometimes I'll leave my old clothes on my bed or whatever. You gotta keep up with that. Don't talk about it with weird strangers. As much as you want to talk about it with everybody you come into contact with, don't. There are some weird people I've never, I luckily never have encountered anybody who has tried to stalk me or like was weird. I know somebody who contacted me on Instagram and was telling me about her journey building out her nissan cube like one of the first nights she went out and slept in it she slept like at her friend's her friend's driveway he was like being weird and she had to like drive away i mean just be safe um 
I never use my cooler. I mean, it's the winter. I don't really have any need to do that. I'll keep this just laying on my bed. It will stay nice and crunchy and good until I finish it. And I don't know what I did to deserve such convenience, but that is super nice. Try to develop a healthy sleeping routine somewhere safe to let the sun in in the morning through at least one window. Yeah, because I sleep with all my window covers up in the morning, the sunlight doesn't wake me up because it's dark in here. But if I take one of my window covers off and somebody like peers in, it's kind of awkward. Um, you see how I'm like parked and there's no cars next to me because there's a curb next to me instead Take one of these window covers off um, where there's no possible way for a person to casually be there um, Next question How do you store perishable food or do you buy food every day? I buy food almost every day because I work at a grocery store and it's super convenient for me to do that I eat a lot of greens so I keep those containers in the fridge at work or in my car because it's cold in my car most of the time I'll still keep my food cold at night because I'll warm up my car it's warm for like an hour and when I go to sleep it's an oven in the covers but then the air outside of my sleeping bag is cold and then it works out just perfect so yeah essentially I use the fridge at work when I don't it's because it's winter does it ever suck like what makes it kind of lame so like I said staying tidy is very tedious you have to kind of be Type A with that. Waking up to freezing temperatures, I'm cozy warm in my sleeping bag, but as soon as I unzip, I'm cold and that's problematic. Yeah, waking up in the mornings is cold because as soon as I unzip my sleeping bag, like I said, the air outside my sleeping bag is cold. I warm up my car before I actually get out of my sleeping bag. Sometimes if I'm waking up slowly, I'll just stick my keys in and warm up my car for a little bit before I actually get out of my sleeping bag and then it's fine. And then living out of a duffel bag, it's kind of annoying to have to lug that thing around because it is so heavy. I honestly don't really mind because I like being active and making things harder on myself than they need to be. Next question. Actually, that was the last one. So, hi, yeah. Let me see if you're still going. Are you still alive? Hell yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to comment anything, any video suggestions or questions that you have in the comments below and I will respond to each and every one of you. Follow me on Instagram. My name is Amber F. Bourgeois on there. I hope you all have a badass day. Is that technically a joke? It just came out. Coffee of Hawaii, wow. Oh, because isn't a donkey the main character of Hawaii. All right. I love you all so much. Thank you again so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I love you all so much.